As OpenAI continues to roll out increasingly powerful models, we can't help but wonder, are we just months away from the next big leap, fully autonomous AI agents? In a recent interview at a T-Mobile event, Sam Altman hinted that OpenAI's progress is accelerating at an unprecedented pace. He explained that the transition from GPT-1's basic thinking to GPT-2's advanced reasoning took time, but the gap is now shrinking. According to Altman, they could leap to level 3, autonomous AI agents, much faster than expected, possibly within just a few months. Yes, months. But what does that really mean? Then the CEO of OpenAI and our friend and partner, Sam Altman. Please welcome Sam. Good to see you, man. Good to see you. So, all right. Before, look, before we get into what we're doing uh, with T-Mobile, I have to congratulate you on the 01 models and the preview happening. And maybe you could get this audience sort of settled by telling us what the new stuff is all about, because it's pretty amazing. Yeah, we're, we're extremely excited for this. We've been working on it for a long time. Um, the, the GPT series of models was amazing at sort of system one type thinking, for lack of a more nuanced word. OpenAI's Roadmap Towards AI Evolution Well, if we take a step back and examine OpenAI's roadmap, recently outlined by Sam Altman, it highlights five stages on the path to their ultimate goal, Artificial General Intelligence, or AGI. These stages are Level 1 Chatbots, Level 2 Reasoners, Level 3 AI Agents, Level 4 Innovators, and finally, Level 5, which involves fully autonomous organizations. We have these five levels of AI we talk about. Uh, the first was Chatbots, the second, which we've just reached now, is Reasoners. Uh, the third is agents. The fourth is sort of innovators, the ability to figure out new scientific information. And the fifth is full organizations. Um, so this move from one to two took a, a while, but I think the most exciting, one of the most exciting things about two is that it enables level three relatively quickly after. And the agentic experiences that we expect this technology to eventually enable, I think will be quite impactful. According to Sam Altman, we are currently at the second stage with the release of the O1 model, which focuses on advanced reasoning. We have described all these five levels in our previous video. If you want to know about each level, watch this video in the I button. O1 model, one step closer to AI agents. Speaking of the O1 model, Sam Altman explained that this was a critical step in AI evolution. While earlier models like GPT-4 were great at things like generating text or answering questions, they were still operating with System 1 thinking. However, O1 excels at more advanced reasoning because of System 2 thinking. Hence, it's perfect for technical tasks like coding, scientific research, or complex problem solving. Sam Altman himself said that transitioning from O1 preview to O1 will unlock something as revolutionary as the GPT series did. You publicly said that what we're seeing is a preview and it's yeah. going to be rapidly iterated. How's it all going to unfold over the next few months? I think of this as like a, we're at the GPT-2 stage of these new kind of reasoning models. And uh, you will see it over the coming years go up to the GPT-4 equivalent. Um, but even in the coming months, you'll see it get a lot better as we move from 01 preview to 01, which we shared uh, some metrics for in our launch blog post. Uh, it's a very significant step forward. When we had GPT 3.5, um, it was in the API for a while, and then it was really the chat GPT moment that made people use it a lot. And even then, it took people a while to figure out how to use chat GPT. And it took us a while to build all the other features and add the things that people wanted. Um, so. I think we're that early with O1. There will be totally new ways to use it that are not just a chat interface. Uh, it'll take us a while to build those and other people a while to build those. It'll also take users a while to figure out how to use it. And this is pretty different than the GPT models. So what's the most exciting part? The speed at which all of this is happening. The gap between each level of AI evolution is shrinking, and it's happening faster than anyone anticipated. 
Moreover, in the upcoming months, OpenAI is expected to release AI agents. Now, what are AI agents? Unlike the previous AI models we're familiar with, AI agents are built to perform complex tasks entirely on their own. These agents that can think, reason, and problem solve without constant human input. They will not just be responding to commands. Instead, they will be making decisions based on their understanding of complex data, powered by machine learning and natural language processing. This means that these AI agents can autonomously come up with personalized solutions to any given set of problems. Like in healthcare, they can help treat patients by analyzing their disease history and adjust treatments in real time. For example, AI agents could continuously monitor a diabetic patient's glucose levels and automatically recommend insulin doses, improving health outcomes with minimal human intervention. But here's a misconception about AI agents, that they are just like chatbots, but that is not true. While chatbots just answer by thinking, AI agents can interpret social signals and situational context by thinking creatively and choosing the most appropriate course of action. It's like having an AI that thinks more like a human, very creatively, making it smarter and more adaptable to any given situation. AI Agents – Expected Release Date So, according to Altman, that leap from O1 to AI agents is closer, and then will be one giant step closer to full-scale AGI, a system that can think and act like a human across any task. However, people are still very impatient and quite quick to judge. They often underestimate the speed at which OpenAI advancements are occurring, while many believe that OpenAI's AI agents are still a distant reality. But as Sam Altman said that, One of the many fun things about these moments of new paradigms is that the curve, the improvement curve, is really steep. Things that the models can't solve right now, in a few months they'll be able to solve, a few months after that be able to solve even more. He also added that this move from level 1 to 2 took a while. But one of the most exciting things about 2 is that it enables level three relatively quickly. The agentic experiences we expect this technology to enable will be quite impactful. Now what this means is that the challenges that the model currently struggles with are only temporary. In just a few months, it is anticipated that significant advancements will enable it to solve problems that were previously out of reach. As research continues and the model's capabilities evolve, it will be able to tackle increasingly complex tasks with greater efficiency and accuracy. Over time, these incremental improvements will accumulate, allowing the model to handle an even broader range of challenges and deliver more sophisticated, human-like solutions. What seems difficult today may soon become routine, as the technology continues to evolve at a rapid pace. OpenAI's Future Interests but where is all of this headed for OpenAI? Well, Sam Altman has his sights set on some major areas. You're doing in other sectors as well. Can you talk about what you're excited about? Yeah, so first of all, it's one of our most important partnerships, but we hope it inspires a lot of other people to see like really how, what you can do for customers with AI. Like I, th I think this will be just a tremendous new landmark step forward. Um, Healthcare is an area, as you mentioned, where I would expect greatness. I, I think you know, most of the world, unfortunately, does not get access to great healthcare and what these models can do for that. Uh, I'm really excited to see someone go build the best imaginable AI medical advisor and make that broadly available. I think that, that'll be a big step forward. Education is another area um, where we're, we're seeing great stuff happen already today. Um, watching what people have done. I think O1 has only been out for like five days or something, six days maybe. Watching what people have been doing with it is, is, is really remarkable. Uh, and what people used to do with GPT-4 also was pretty good. But if you imagine every student getting personalized tutoring best for them, um, along with the rest of their educational experience, I think that can be huge. An area that I am 
extremely personally excited for that I think is still in the future, but we can now see glimpses of it, is AI helping us accelerate scientific discovery. Um, I believe that most of the real sustainable economic growth in the world, life getting better for all of us, that comes very largely from scientific progress and technological progress. And if AI can accelerate that, uh, if it can help us invent new stuff, cure diseases, come up with better energy sources, whatever, uh, that'll be a huge win. So um, a minute ago, you said that you're building on a thousand years of capabilities and just doing a tiny little bit of work on top. And uh, that might be one of the most humble things I've ever heard anybody say. You're amazing. What you're doing is amazing. Just thank you for the inspiration and thanks for this partnership. Sam Altman mentioned that OpenAI has been laser focused on deep learning and AGI. AGI refers to AI that can perform any task a human can, not just specialized tasks. This focus is why they've made so much progress while others might have taken more general or scattered approaches. With the rapid evolution of AI, it's hard not to wonder, what am I supposed to do with my life now? What should I focus on and where is my life heading? Watch this video on your screen to know more about this.